Okay, uh, in this video we're going to look at a design for a heat exchanger. Um, if you have a sealed building, you have to have some uh, form of ventilation. Uh, rather than having things like um, trickle vents, which are common nowadays. This is a trickle vent. Goes usually top of the window. Uh, we'll pop this one off. Uh, and you can just see the light showing through it. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to come off. But the general idea is that you slide that one way or the other and it, it allows some air from outside to come inside. Uh, and other systems, it's far better to have a uh, dedicated ventilation system. Um, you can filter pollen out because it, you've got air coming in uh, in a controlled way uh, and you can also um, heat the, ex the, the air exiting by with the air that's coming in so it makes makes your ventilation far more efficient uh, so we're going to take a look at art build a simple design build tutorial for um, a heat exchanger ventilation system Right, uh, to start with we need uh, a sheet of aluminium I would say would be the best bet. Uh, aluminium is a good conductor of heat um, and ideally it wants to be uh, splayed, sprayed black again because black is a good conductor of heat. Uh, the sheet would need to be, uh, I've got this one at about 2.4 metres top to bottom and twice that wide so it's a fairly big sheet again if you use thin uh, aluminium it'll be cheaper and it'll work better as well so um, the the longer you make this the more efficient it is so build it as long as possible uh, but you need enough folds to get a decent um, uh, size of ventilation system let's have a look now what you do is uh, you'll notice that on the one side is painted blue and the other side is painted red. That's just for demonstration purposes. Obviously you would just paint it black. Um, the blue side is on the left and the red side is on the right. Uh, and what that does is it's effectively, if we look back to the sheet, air on this side will not um, interact with air on this side so the the blue and red are two separate sides and that's quite important uh, in the design because obviously you don't want to mix the air but you do want to transfer heat right uh, this is our basic and uh, let me bring this down here so you can see it we've got a, we've got a few uh, layers uh, right this is our basic folded up aluminium uh, what we need to do next is uh, build it up really. There we put a um, insulated panel on the side but it doesn't reach the top. And then obviously we put a top and bottom on. Uh, now the bottom here, I might as well say this now, is this needs to, to be waterproof uh, the seal needs to be waterproof, so I would I would say um, putting a whole silicon base in that would be fine, and you need you're going to need some drainage holes that go outside, uh, because when the when the cold air hits the warm air um, coming in, or is it the other way? Warm air hits cold air, yeah, it's the other way around. Uh, it'll condensate, and you'll get a lot of water forming in the bottom here, so you'll need um, drainage holes. Uh, next we'll stick some insulation on the ends uh, and this is all air sealed and, and uh, I would say uh, two insula insulation is absolutely fine for this and then uh, we have some ducts uh, let's, and that's pretty much your finished um, ventilation system you can add obviously you could put fans in but this should work passively uh, let me show you the diagram. Uh, right, 
let's look from the uh, inside of the building. So if we're on the inside, you would have two holes high up in your building. Uh, the ex this uh, ventilation unit could be located on the outside of the building or the inside of the building. It doesn't really make any difference. But if it's on the out, let's say it's on the outside, you would just duct uh, two holes into the building. One is the um, incoming air, and one is the um, outgoing air. So obviously, you'd probably want to duct these into different rooms, uh, if because if they're right beside each other, uh, you'll get air coming in and going straight back out again so you want you want to put those in different locations but you could do that from your ducting internally on the outside uh, you have two low um, holes so air comes in the bottom uh, and it exits the bottom as well so you have two low holes for the for your uh, on the outside of the building and two high holes on the inside and what happens is um, as the ex uh, exit and air goes out here it goes down the uh, aluminium and it meets the cold air coming in from outside. Obviously, it co this will cool it, and we all know that cold air drops, uh, so it'll naturally want to sink and then exit out of the bottom vent. Uh, uh, for the um, incoming air, it comes in the bottom vent, it meets the outward going warm air, gets warmed up, and then comes in uh, with the heat from the exit air in it. So uh, for efficiency wise, the longer you make this, the more efficient it'll be because it gives time for the exit and cold air, or the, sorry, the exit and warm air to warm the incoming cold air. And the, long, the longer you give that time to do that, the more efficient it'll be. These can be 95% efficient, no problem at all. Uh, you would probably need to have a, a, some sort of fan. It will work passively if you've got a warm building and it's cold outside. But if the temperatures are around about the same, like in summertime you've got um, 25 degrees, you're not going to get an automatic airflow, so you would need to bring in airflow. Again, you could have fans, a system where you have um, fans that can be reversed. Uh, because There's nothing to stop you bringing air in um both of these bottom chambers and uh, bo out the top so you could you could ventilate uh, come air in both of them and then out somewhere else in the building in a summertime scenario so it gives you lots of options to do uh, there's no point in making this and installing it unless your building is incredibly um, airtight uh, it, it's not going to benefit you if you have a leaking building uh, my domes not that well insulated and not it's well insulated sorry but it's not that um airproof i might try and improve that and then consider putting one of these in any ideas or comments stick them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one